Hello YouTube, the MX Swag here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to do the 12V fan mod on your Xbox 360. The first thing you're going to want to do is remove your fan from your Xbox 360 after you've opened it up. You're going to want to cut the brown and red wire, and then you're going to want to strip them just as I've done on this extra piece of wire you'll be needing later. You just want to strip about maybe an inch or a little bit shorter than an inch off of your extra wire and your brown wood red wire. To strip the wires, sometimes the wire strippers won't really work, so you can use a lighter or something like that just to burn all the rubber off. And then I'd use the wire cutters or wire strippers for your extra. You're going to want to do that to both of the red and brown wires. Hold on, mate. Okay, um, after you get done stripping the red and brown wires, you're going to want to go ahead and twist them around. Just not right until they're nice and tight. Then you're going to want to take your extra wire and you're going to want to measure out just about a little more than 10 inches and then you're going to want to cut it. After you cut it, then you're going to strip both ends about an inch down just like your red and brown wires. You're also going to want to cut the bottom right hand side of your disk drive cables that connect to the motherboard and the disk drive. As you see I've done this here. Then you're going to strip both ends that you've cut about an inch off or a half inch actually on this one and then you're going to want to just twist them around make sure they're really tight just like you did the red and brown cables. See this? This is a side that's connected to your disk drive and that is a side that is connected to your motherboard. Then you're going to want to take your red and brown wire that's connected to your fan that you just twisted together and twist it around your extra wire that you just stripped and then take the other end of it that's stripped and twist it around your disk drive wires just as it is it should look like this next you're going to want to take electrical tape you see right here and wrap it around just a few times around wherever there's open wire now you have both sides taped up and now you're ready to go and when you're finished with that you're just gonna wanna poke your fan back into its slots then you're gonna want to plug this cable back in to your motherboard whenever you go to plug this back into your motherboard make sure you remember what side like I usually mark it just to make sure because if you switch them up it could mess up something but just make sure you plug them back in where they came from go ahead and plug that back into your motherboard and then plug the other side into your disk drive then go ahead and plug your black cable back into your disk drive too make sure they both click in then you're going to want to plug your fan back into your motherboard put that back on then put your disk drive back then I guess you can try it out with it open or you can just put it back together it's gonna work either way next you can go ahead and plug it back in and what you're pretty much doing is taking power from your disk drive and pretty much maneuvering it to your fan because your fan uses only about 5 to 8 volts and its full potential is 12 and your disk drive 
doesn't use as much as it has. And so you're pretty much stealing the power that it doesn't need and moving it over to your fan to make it run harder. This reduces your risk of red ring of death. This one right here has the red ring of death and we just fixed it and now we did the fan mod to it just for extra help. Alright, um, fix after the fixed red ring of death, see it has no more red lights, just green. It is working. And fan mod is running, as you can hear, listen to it. Thanks for watching YouTube. Make sure you subscribe, like, and comment my videos. Check them out. I have some great modding videos on Black Ops Zombies. Um, World at War, and also Call of Duty 4. Uh, make sure you subscribe too, that helps a lot. Uh, comment on my videos if you want any more tutorials, anything like that. Give me some good feedback, or bad feedback, any feedback at all, just anything that would help me out. Um, thanks for watching.